okay so this member asked that why we do not thrombolyze a patient of NSTEMI so understand that whenever a patient comes to us with chest pain we divide the patient into two groups based on the ECGs one is ST segment elevation MI which we call it STEMI the other is non ST segment elevation MI which we call NSTEMI so suppose if we don't have a cath lab available or if the uh, uh, circumstances are not in favor of that if the patient comes with STEMI we thrombolyze the patient but if the patient comes with NSTEMI, we do not thrombolyze the patient. Other treatment we give in both antiplatelets like that, anticoagulants like that. But we are thrombolyzing only in STEMI. We are not thrombolyzing in NSTEMI. So why it is it so? So understand that two reasons. One is the mechanism. Second is the risk. In STEMI, in which there is an ST segment elevation MI, there is a complete occlusion of the coronary vessels. And because of the complete occlusion, if that is not open timely, it can lead to myocardial uh, infarction, uh, myocardial damage, and it can lead to mortality of the patient. So we need to either thrombolyze or take to PCI, do a PAMI. While in NSTEMI, there is there is no complete occlusion. There is a partial occlusion either. There is a partial occlusion of the coronary vessel or if, if at all it is a complete occlusion, it is a temporary. The complete occlusion occur and that is converted into partial or it opened up like that. So why we do not thrombolyze in the NSTEMI? So uh, in STEMI we need to thrombolyze because if the uh, uh, vessel is not open uh, timely, it can lead to mortality of the patient. So there is a bleeding risk with the thrombolysis. But the benefit of opening the vessel is far more greater than the risk of uh, bleeding in that patient. While in NSTEMI, what happens? The bleeding risk is high. So there is a partial occlusion. There is some flow in the vessel. So the bleeding, risk of bleeding is very much high as compared to the benefit which the thrombolysis will provide. Second, even if you uh, want to take the risk, the studies have shown that there is another mechanism by which thrombolysis in NSTEMI can be harmful also. What can happen? There is a partial occlusion because of the plaque. And if the thrombolysis is done in this patient uh, by a thrombolytic agent, what can happen? This plaque can rupture and that can go forward and then completely occlude uh, the vessel like that. So there is no complete occlusion at the moment, but it can get converted into complete occlusion. So that's why in NSTEMI, we do not thrombolyze because of the risk. Bleeding risk is very high as compared to the benefit. Secondly, it can lead to conversion of uh, complete occlusion in the vessel by the mechanism which I told you. So we all should read more about it. Thank you for asking.